just so pretty. Just so pretty. I will keep saying it. I don't care how many times I say it. I'm just going to keep telling you she's pretty. <laughs> friends I'm Nikki and welcome back to my channel I know it has been a little while since I have didn't have done an upload I try to bring you all of my reviews as quickly as possible but I have taken a little time off but I am back and I am back with another brand new drop as well so I am really excited of course to tell you all about her naturally I'm wearing her because I don't do the installation on camera. I just feel it's a lot of extra time wasted uh, taken away from telling you about this wig. So that's why I do it the way that I do it. But I am going to tell you everything that you need to know about her. All the important deets because I want you to know if it's the right wig for you or not. And in return, I want to hear from you. So please utilize those comments by giving me your respectful feedback. And you can also use them to let me know if there is a wig you would like me to review because I happily do take requests. And also I have a Poshmark closet where a lot of wigs are for sale in there. I add new ones to them pretty often. And I also have a sale going on on many of them. So please check it out. The link to my Poshmark closet is in the description box for you. All right. So, yes, I'm happy. I'm doing a little happy dance. I am going to tell you I've got today. But first, I am going to show you what I'm wearing for my eyeshadow look. Because I always do that. And I have it off to the side here. <laughs> All right. So today I'm wearing the Pricked Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Which is this here i know it's fall colors even my husband made a comment about it but hey i think you can wear any color year round that's just my opinion all right so for the wig you pretty much already know from the title and everything but i'm still gonna tell you who she is and today i have a wig from outre's melted hairline collection and she is in the style chloris so she is an HD lace front, and I have her in the color DR Brown Sugar Swirl, and that happens to also be the color the stock card model is wearing right here. Naturally available in several colors. Outre is great about giving you good color selection. One of the colors she's available in is the DRFF2 slash Cinnamon Mocha, and I have not seen that one in a while, so... Kind of regretting not getting that one, but whatever. So they show you on the inside here a little bit. Um, and then as far as her features are concerned, she has a five inch deep parting space, a completely pre-plucked hairline and sideburns, a pre-attached elastic band and natural baby hairs. So she is also heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I picked her up from Elevate Styles for $39.88. I knew the moment I saw this picture, I was like, dang, yeah, that's right up my alley. I got to get her. So here she is. And I'm really, really happy with this look. I am more of a center part kind of a girl, but hey, this side part on the left is absolutely stunning. <laughs> the <coughs> Excuse me getting over a cold the swoop does not go down into the eyes which is awesome it's really comfortable there so i have no problems with this left-sided part whatsoever but these waves oh my god it's more like a loose curl really which technically is a wave but you get my drift i really like this pattern a lot it's not too tight 
It's not too voluminous. I think it's a natural volume for this specific type of style. So it looks really natural and it just kind of looks like a natural curl pattern that you would expect some people to have, which I wish I had curly hair. I really do, but that's why I wear wigs. <laughs> so that way I can have curly hair. But anyway, uh, she is 24 inches long. So let me show you how that long that is on me. I'm 5'4", so she's right at the breast level. Um, perfect natural density because like I said this volume is just right um, and then this color like I said I kind of wish I got the cinnamon mocha just because it's been so long but I love this color anyway I think it is perfect it is stunning it is professional looking you do start off of course with darker roots um, I like the roots on her. It looks more like a number four in my opinion. And it's not too harsh, meaning it's not super dark to, or too dark to go with the rest of the color to where you have that harsher contrast. And it also doesn't go down too far and it's blended perfectly. So that's what I mean when I say harsh. Because um, as you can see, some of that color goes all the way up to here. So it doesn't look like outgrowth really, or at least not a lot of it. Um, but it's just this beautiful brown and then you have a slight little bit of like caramel in there. So I think that is a beautiful contrast. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Of course, it does look lighter on the stock card than it does under my lighting but that's just because they have professional, like professional, professional, professional type of lighting. So just be uh, prepared for that, that it is going to be slightly darker, but you can still see that lighter and darker combination there. So I think that's just really stunning. Um, let's take a look at her from the side and the back. Let me just get it all back there. Okay, really beautiful down the back. I prefer her to the front though, just my opinion. You can wear her however you desire. Um, but I love the body that she has too. Just look at that movement. It's just so pretty. Just so pretty. I will keep saying it. I don't care how many times I say it. I'm just gonna keep telling you she's pretty. <laughs> But she has other features, too, that we need to go over. So, uh, like I already said, left-sided part. Parting space is five inches deep. It was really easy to blend with some powder. Uh, I think this is a very natural-looking type of part, especially right here. So, when you part your own hair, it kind of looks more like this. So, this right here looks so super natural. I am in love with it. And then, of course, I did not have to use any powder here. It just blended perfectly there. And I think this is pre-plucked really nicely. Um, it, it just looks so realistic. I can't get over how good they can make these wigs these days. It's amazing. Blows me away. Um, since she's from the melted hairline, uh, usually they're meant to be melted down, so you can use some type of adhesive, but I really didn't do it too much, just a tiny little bit, but you can see those baby hairs here, which kind of got a little bit of glue on them, but that's all right. Um, she's not pre-plucked all the way around, I would say, um, I mean a little bit, as you can see right there but it still looks really natural. I have no complaints about it. Normally I would get really upset when they say pre-plucked and then it's not. She is pre-plucked a little bit, so they did make an effort and it's not as thick around the edges as some of the others are. So you know, like, see there's that pre-plucking. You can see a little bit more here than you can over on this side. But again, no powder necessary, just a perfect blend. I love the baby hairs. I think that looks 
perfect, just as you would expect baby hairs to be around the edges. So they did a good job with that. Uh, she curves around. She has those sideburns, so she does come uh, right up to each ear, which is perfect. So that is just amazing. I'm really happy with it. I did cut this off just because I'm not a fan of these bands very much. So, you know, it's always an option to do that if you're not a fan of it either. Uh, with this style, you would think she might tangle a little too much, but I think because the wave pattern is a little bit more looser, it does make it easier to brush or comb through. And with these types of styles, I just prefer to use my fingers. I just think it works a little bit better and it's quicker. And you can just see from just running my fingers through it, there's like barely any tangles. It's just more like tiny little snags that I'm coming across. Now, of course, as you wear the wig longer, I do wear the wig for a while before I film, but you know, it's not all day. <laughs> I'm not filming this at night. So as time goes on, it might, go ahead and um, tangle a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to be anything too severe and I think it's still going to be easy to manage. So she's pretty low maintenance in my opinion, which is always a good thing. Um, sorry, my mouth is dry too. <laughs> I'm just a wreck today. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's keep moving on about the wig, of course. Um, but yeah, she's not tangling. She's really not shedding either, which is awesome. So I don't have any complaints about that. Uh, she's really, really comfortable to wear. Like I said, I took that band off. I think that makes it a little bit more comfortable. But if you like it, go for it. Wear it. But if you noticed when I did the cap uh, inside cap construction showing you that, she had some amazing, amazing stretchability. Some of the best stretchability I've seen in a while from Udre. So I was really impressed with it. So I definitely do think that she's larger head friendly. Uh, so that's always a bonus. And I mean, what else can I say? I do tell you the important details. I give you some of my personal opinions, which I've said millions of times already today that I think she's really pretty. But she's great quality too. And that, of course, is really super important when you are deciding on a wig. So if you like the style and the quality is good, then it's probably a good option to buy. And I would actually recommend you pick her up. I do think so. I think you're going to be really happy with her. I think she's gorgeous already. And yeah, that's pretty much everything summed up into one. But yeah, thumbs up. Oh my gosh, if I had more thumbs, I would do that. <laughs> she might make my favorites list for the year at this point. So I have a feeling I'm going to be reaching for her quite a bit often. So yeah, I think she'll last a while too because she doesn't snag or tangle too much. So that's my opinion and my recommendation. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please give me a thumbs up for that. Uh, but otherwise... I really have nothing more to say about her. She speaks for herself just like a lot of other ones do. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time in my next video. So I guess until next time. Bye bye.